Yes, there are different kinds of prophets. If you study the life of Moses and you study the life of David, David was a giant slayer. Moses was a deliverer. Look at the life of Elijah. He was a miracle worker. Look at John the Baptist. There was no recorded miracles he ever did in the Bible. And so there are different kinds of prophets. I always say you can't put a prophet in a box. And every believer, by the way, has a prophetic expression. You have something unique to offer prophetically. Maybe you're a worship leader and your prophetic comes out during worship. Maybe you are a writer like me and your, 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 your prophecy comes out through writing. Maybe you're a preacher. And the only time you preach, or rather the only time you prophesy is when you're preaching. Maybe you're an intercessor and you're not really all that prophetic all the time, but when you start to pray, the prophetic just rolls right out of you. There are many different kinds of prophets. You cannot try to be a cookie cutter of somebody else. Yes, there are common denominators in the prophetic. The prophet will do X, Y, and Z as a general baseline. We'll talk about that in another episode, but they're, they're not all alike. God has given you a unique fingerprint. He knows how many hairs are on your head. You are different. You are special. There, there might be two prophets that function and flow very similarly, but no two prophets are exactly alike. They function a little differently. Their style might be different. One might be loud and boisterous. The other one might be quiet and, and, and very intellectual sounding. You know, it doesn't matter as long as it's flowing from Jesus. So yeah, there are all kinds of different types, if you want to call them that, of prophets. They're all still prophets and they're all different kind of a pr prophetic expressions. You need to find yours. Let me help you out with that. Ignitenow.org.